to the better portion of the service at this time. Yes. It gives me great honor and a privilege to introduce the man of God here at the Grace Place by the person no other than our very own Pastor David B. Johnson. Can we all please stand and greet him with a praise the Lord everybody? Yes.
what he did for them.
yet doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ, Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dark refuse, that I may win Christ, and be found in him, not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. If by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead, not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I have apprehended of Christ Jesus. He says, I'm trying to grasp him like he's got a hold of me. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth to those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Father, help us now. We don't have what it takes to bring this message forward. Intellect won't do it. Skill can't bring it to pass. But God, if you stand up in me and speak Somebody will be healed, set free, and delivered. I decrease, God, as you increase. Come in this place and open my mouth and use me as your oracle. Speak out of me. Give me the articulation of thought, the clarity of thought. Give me what I have need of that I might glorify you. And I thank you that it's already done. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Somebody say in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Be seated. Be seated. The text is considered collectively, both Lamentations and Philippians. Today is both a sad. It's sad because today we're having a funeral. It's joyous because the funeral is for your past. Because the moment that you begin to judge somebody else, God 
God will reveal that thing that you don't want nobody to know about you so you can understand how it feels to be just. Victimizing, there 
It comes in so many different facets. Some of us were the victim of bad parenting. Mama didn't love us like she should have. Papa was a rolling stuff, y'all. You don't remember that, do you? Some of us have been the victim of sexual abuse where somebody stole our humanity. Somebody came against our very soul. Some of us have been the victim of sickness. We didn't bring it upon ourselves. It just happened all of a sudden. Some of us have been the victim of all manner of things that were beyond your control. And see, the reason that these things have to go into the casket is because as long as they continue to live inside you, they will keep victimizing you over and over and over again. Oh, wait a minute, look at somebody trying to neighbor. Get over it. All right, that's what they would like to tell you. That's what they would like to tell you. But, but, but sometimes things that have happened to you have hurt you so bad, I just can't get over it. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Uh, I've been trying to get over it for the past 20 years, and it still hurts as bad as it did when it first happened. I can still feel the pain as sharply today as I did then.
what's been done to us. But then in phase two, it's a two-part phase. Because what's been done to you, you feel like you have the right to hold a grudge. I'm gonna help you, even though you ain't helping me right here. It was so bad that you feel like you got a right to hold the grudge. The Lord's prayer goes a little bit something like this. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses only as we forgive those who trespass against us. Now, you got some people that you just flat out need to forgive. How dare you come into the house of God, lift your hands and ask for forgiveness from God and holding some things in your heart because oh, y'all ain't talking to me right now. I'm going to lose it right now. Let me tell you why you need to forgive them. Because if you don't forgive them, you're going to be victimized by what they did for the rest of your life. You got to forgive them because it releases you as well as them. Somebody need to make some phone calls today. Somebody need to go visit somebody and say, you know what you did to me so and so years ago. I'm releasing you from that right now. I no longer hold a grudge. How can you hold a grudge against somebody and God doesn't hold a grudge against you? You did something five minutes ago that you can go to hell for right now. But people, y'all ain't talking to me. Y'all ain't talking to me. You had something on your mind that you ain't got no business sitting up in church that you can go to hell for. How can you hold a grudge against somebody? Release them, release them, release them, release them. God 
that he is using you to help me. And she said, because, you know, I remember when. Come on. Come on. And I didn't get indignant. I just said, you remember when what? She said, oh, I didn't know this was a deep church. <laughs> You're going to get all deep on me. I said, no, I just need you to clarify your statement. You remember what? She said, I remember when you used to drink wild Irish rolls and Mad Dog 2020 and smoke reefer. Y'all ain't talking to me in here. I know y'all ain't never done that, but I ain't got it. me, that me. I said, you know, that's funny. I don't remember none of that. Remember when you used to chase everything that had a skirt on? I don't care how she looked, as long as she was a female. You used to, I said, I don't remember that either. She said, I remember how you used to shut the club down. You used to, we used to the party. And you used to, I said, funny, I don't remember that either. And she said, now, you know, you, you, you getting kind of deep here. You acting like you don't I said, well, just in case, let me check my source. I said, God, do you remember when I used to drink wild Irish rolls? Do you remember when I used to chase skirts? Do you remember when I used to shake a tail feather in the club and I heard the Holy Ghost speak back and say, I don't remember it because I tossed it into the sea of forgiveness. Start to form right, right. and eat 
the dead tissue. 24 hours after that, the worms would come and eat the maggots. 24 hours after that, the birds would come and eat the worms. But when Jesus said to Lazarus, come forth.